Mr. Faircon, I'm certainly looking forward to the game today. Well, Al Sharpton, the regular manager of the baseball team, is sick today. And the owner wants you to fill in. And it's important that you become familiar with all the players' names, especially since some of them are a little strange. Oh, I'm done. That's right, I'm down at six, so you'll be taking his place. <laughs> say what? Say what's over in right field. So who's on first? No, Jews on first. Says who? The owner, why? White is on the team? That's right. With Jews on first, the man on second, Mr. Charlie is shortstop, and it's a conspiracy at third. Now, wait a minute. Who's at shortstop? Mr. Charlie. Well, now, isn't that a conspiracy? No, a conspiracy's at third. So then who's at first? No, Jews on first. Preach on. Preach on. Say what, my brother? Say what's right, Phil. My brother is catching. So, now, my brother's catching right on. So where's the conspiracy? Preach on. No, right on is in left field. A conspiracy's at third, and my brother is catching. Preach on. Preach on. That's right, preach on. Amen. It's playing center field. Say what? In right field. Says who? Whitey. Preach on. Preach on is pitching to my brother. So, uh, choose on first. I'm down. I thought you said he was old manager. No, I'm just saying I'm down. I'm down what? Is that first? No, Jews on first. So, Jews on first. The man is at second, Mr. Charlie is a shortstop, and then it's a conspiracy. Amen, my brother. Center field and catch. Say what? Amen and right on. Now that takes care of the outfield. Right on and amen. So, where is the conspiracy? Between my brother and the man. According to who? Whitey and Jews. See, this is all the work of Whitey's and Jews. Understand why it is, but why the Jews? Because Jews is also captain. Over my brother? Right on. And amen and preach on, my brother. This is more confusing than the Tawana Brawler trial. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hope y'all enjoyed that sketch. And we did that to, you know, that right there is some civilized, uh, worldly truth for you and I know it plays kind of quick and everybody's not able to get the full understanding because it's all coming in a comedy joke so we went on ahead and showed you the clip first and what we're going to do is we're going to retell you these things <laughs> amen and so of course so you will know the facts of life here amen amen oh Minister Farrakhan I'm certainly looking forward to the game today well, Al Sharpton, the regular manager of the baseball team, is sick today, and the owner wants you to fill in. And it's important that you become familiar with all the players' names, oh, especially I'm... since some of them are a little strange. Oh, I'm down. That's right. I'm down at six, so you will be taking his place. Say what? Say what is over in right field. Say, so who's on first? No, Jews on first. Says who? The owner, Whitey. Whitey's on the team? That's right. With Jews on first, the man on second, Mr. Charlie at shortstop, is a conspiracy at third. Now, wait a minute. Who's at shortstop? Mr. Charlie. Well, now, isn't that a conspiracy? No, the conspiracy's at third. So, then who's at first? No, Jews on first. Preach on. Preach on is pitching. Say what, my brother? Say what is at right field. My brother is catching. So, now, my brother's catching. Right on. So where's the conspiracy? Preach on. No, right on is that left field. A conspiracy is that third, and my brother is catching. Preach on. Preach on. That's right. Preach on. Amen. It's playing center field. Say what? In right field. Says who? Whitey. Preach on. Preach on is pitching to my brother. So uh, Jews at first. I'm down. I thought you said you was old management. No, I'm just saying I'm down. I'm down what? Is that first? No, Jews on first. So, Jews on first, the man's at second, Mr. Charlie's at shortstop, and then it's a conspiracy. Amen, my brother. Send a bill and catch it. Say what? Amen and right on. Right on and amen. Now that cake takes care of the outfit, so where's the conspiracy? Between my brother and the man. According to who? Whitey's and Jews. See, this is all the words of Whitey's and Jews. Now I understand the whites, but why the Jews? Because Jews is also captain. Over my brother? Right on. Amen to preach on. This is more confusing than geometry and trigonometry. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen.
Now, I, go ahead. Go ahead you know. <laughs> Although this was this, and I'm not gonna start. It was a real funny sketch, but the sketch got so much truth in it until it kind of, if you understand, it gives you an understanding which position you lies in, or you're playing in, or you are in in this world. In this world, see everything God is going accordingly, not according to the word of God, but according to the elites of this world. And at the same time, what they don't realize is that they're still doing the work of the prophecies. That's right. And so when they think that they're coming up with this master plan, what they're doing is it's time for a lot of us to get on up out of here. Be so. Therefore, prophecy got to be fulfilled for anything happening. Okay? So we just thought we'd stop by a few minutes and give you guys a little bit of the sketch, a little bit of understanding, so you can know exactly where you stand at in life. If you are that type to want to know who you are and where you come from and why are you here and what are you here for, you know? And, you know, just to let us know, you know, God is always with us and... and even though even though we see so much crap having going on in the world, it doesn't mean that God is just allowing these things to happen. There's a time and a place for everything. And this world has its own destinated time to from this beginning all the way to its end. So one thing we all need to be aware of is that this world is not going on forever, no matter how many legacies you leave behind. No matter what you've done in history, it's all important while this world is standing, but there is an end. Amen. Amen. And with that being said, we're going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your election voting day. Amen. You know, it is the 8th of November, and we want you guys to be careful, extra prayerful. Pray over your family, pray over your friends, pray over your enemies. Pray over everything, you know, have that hope, the hope of that the Lord is coming one day soon to get his children, his children, Abraham children, Seth's children. Again, we were and still are mixed with Cain's children. Wow. And so this is what the, um, uh, what they call it, the picking and weaving and the weeks and the tares is all about. Right. Picking them out, picking out Cain's children from God's children, from Seth's children. Right. The Lord told, uh, uh. The Lord told Adam that he will not walk back into that garden until him and all of his descendants are with him. And we are considered his descendants. So we're going to walk in together. Right now they rest in, they rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. This has been another uh, segment of In Time Prophecy Conversation.